Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. So far this morning, we have been borderline and just below the wind advisory criteria, seeing peak gust around 22 knots, so remaining breezy out there this morning and on the chilly side with temperatures just reaching around 41 to 42 degrees right now with wind chill values still down in the 30s. We, are, we do have plenty of sunshine out there at the moment as well with just a few clouds off in the distance. If we take a look at the current surface analysis, we have high pressure over the eastern part of the country behind that front that moved through the area yesterday, bringing us just under a quarter inch of rain and some breezy conditions. We did see the winds back off through the overnight hours though, but this high pressure will start to build into our region and center itself over our region for our Friday. That will allow winds to start to weaken as we get into the evening tonight and set up for a seasonable day for our Friday to end the week. Some of this activity off to the northwest will start to organize into a low pressure system over the north central part of the country and that low pressure will track east bringing a cold front into the area bringing our next chance of seeing some rain as we get into our Saturday. If we look at the upper level winds from this morning's balloon sounding we do have a piece of upper level energy or an upper level jet sitting just in the region so we do see some stronger winds uh, in the flow as we go up through the column. Uh, starting off west-northwest to northwesterly in the lower part of the column and then becoming more westerly as we go up to around 25,000 feet. And the peak wind is at 25,000 feet of 111 knots. The freezing level is currently at 2,500 feet. If we take a look at the current visible satellite, we can see pretty much clear skies over the region, just a few clouds, high clouds off to the south and some uh, low-level clouds off the coast, but otherwise temperatures just reaching into the 40s over the local area and some gusty, breezy conditions. If you look at the short-term high-resolution model to see how things play out over the next 48 hours, uh, again, remaining dry as that high pressure starts to build into the area this evening and centering itself over the area. As we go into Friday, we'll see those winds start diminishing this evening, but things will remain dry through Friday. And then that high pressure will continue moving east, allowing some southerly winds to pick up as we get late in the day and into the overnight hours, Friday and into Friday evening. And we'll see those winds gradually increase, becoming quite breezy again to start the day on Saturday. And we could see a very slight chance of a few showers trying to push in the area but otherwise the bulk of the activity will be associated with these showers moving in well out ahead of the cold front into the area so something similar to what we saw yesterday where we'll likely see some showers moving in by mid to late morning and then continue to push through the area and look likely clearing out of here by the uh, later part of the afternoon and early evening as that cold front continues to approach might see an isolated shower as indicated here along the front itself as it pushes through but uh, not the best chance of seeing that at the moment and that front will continue to push through and bring us some cooler conditions if we start off here Saturday evening we see that front pushing through the area then high pressure builds in behind it seeing a cooler slightly cooler than average day for our Sunday with a slight breeze in the morning and then that breeze will start to diminish as high pressure centers over the area and then continue as we go into Monday. Monday looks to remain dry and that high pressure will continue moving east and again we'll see a setup where we see a return of southerly flow looks like into the area. It looks like we'll see a low pressure system start to develop along a trough that is digging into the eastern part of the country that will lift its warm sector into or a warm front into our region as we go into the day Tuesday bringing us another chance of seeing some scattered showers about pushing through our area and then it looks like the upper level trough and surface cold front comes through and clears that out of here. It looks like that cold front indicated right now to be a dry front but it would, wouldn't surprise me to see a few showers along that front as it pushes through uh, going through the day on Wednesday. And then it looks like we could see dry conditions to finish off the end of next week and possibly see some precip moving into the area for the weekend, but a little far out to really make any solid determinations about that. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart at the moment, 
We do have an orange risk this morning for those winds that are above 25 knots, dropping down to a yellow risk for the afternoon. We do have, uh, like I mentioned before, we are kind of borderline with seeing that wind advisory criteria, and we're expecting the winds to start to taper down as we get into the afternoon. So right now, northwest 12 to 17 knots with some gusts up to 22 knots, and we'll see that tapering down, like I said, into the af late afternoon around 9 to 14 with gusts up to 20 knots. But for today, expecting a high around 45 degrees, and we'll see a few high clouds building in for the later part of the day today. will remain breezy and chilly out there with wind chills likely staying in the 30s for much of the day today. As we go into the evening, expecting temperatures start to cool down uh, with just some high clouds in the area early, and then we'll see things clearing as we go through the overnight hours. That will allow temperatures to cool down to around 29 degrees, and those winds will continue to become light and variable by the morning hours. That will also help uh, temperatures cool down quite a bit as well. So mostly clear to mostly sunny conditions for Friday morning and on the cold side. Tides are running normal at the moment, looking at the next couple days. Friday, a seasonable, mostly sunny to partly cloudy day with just a slight breeze picking up late out of the south, uh, starting off light and variable early in the morning. But high expected around 53, and we are green across the board for weather risk. As we go into Friday evening, we'll see clouds on the increase ahead of the next system, so partly to mostly cloudy. We'll see things becoming slightly breezy as that southerly wind starts to pick up and we'll have that very slight chance of a light rain, isolated rain shower moving into the area ahead of the uh, bulk of the action that will move through mid to late morning Saturday. But temperatures will be increasing through the evening. We'll see a low of 46 and that will likely be uh, early evening, Friday evening. And then as we go through the overnight hours, we'll see temperatures gradually increase with that southerly wind. But green across the board for weather risk Friday night and as we go into Saturday, we will start off mostly cloudy to overcast at times with those showers. A uh, good chance of seeing some scattered showers move into the area. It will be a warmer day, and we will see those uh, winds increasing as well, becoming breezy. And then we'll see that rain start to diminish by late afternoon, early evening. So a high of 62, so well above average for our Saturday. We do have that orange risk of seeing some precip, looking at about a 60% chance at the moment. And then we have the orange risk for winds that are above 25 knots and yellow risk for those reduced ceilings and visibilities. Looking at the extended forecast, Sunday looking to be a partly cloudy, slightly breezy early. And then we'll see that breeze start to diminish as we go throughout the day today. And slightly below average temperatures with a high around 49 and a low starting off at 35 that morning. And as we go into Sunday evening, expecting another low around 35, 36 degrees and then going into Monday, a seasonable day with a high around 53 with just partly the most cloudy skies as we'll probably see some clouds start to build in later in the day ahead of the next system that moves into the area for our Tuesday, starting off with a low around 45 and then we'll see temperatures uh, slightly above average for our Tuesday with that warming trend with a high around 59 and that's when we'll see that chance of rain move back into the forecast with some mostly cloudy and breezy conditions, looking at about 40% chance of rain for our Tuesday. Things will stay mild Tuesday evening uh, with a low around 47 until we see that cool front start to move through the area during the day on Wednesday, where we have a high of 60 degrees, but that would likely be early in the day before that cold front moves through, and then we'll see temperatures start to drop behind that cold front, but otherwise a mostly cloudy with clouds decreasing behind the cold front, becoming partly cloudy for the later part of the day, and have added a 15% chance of seeing precip for our Wednesday uh, if we see any isolated showers kind of initiate along that boundary as it pushes through the area and before we see things start to dry out. Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.